Hi, I'm Miss Erin from the Miami Township Library. And today I'm gonna to share some stories, songs, and rhymes with you about one of my favorite summertime activities. Can you guess what it is? It's something I like to do when it gets really hot. You probably like to do it too. Swimming, that's right. So today our stories, songs, and rhymes will talk about swimming. And before we get started, I'm gonna teach you a song about the things you need to, that'll help you remember the things you need to take with you or to wear when you go swimming. So this song is called, If You're Going to the Pool. And one of the first things you'll need to remember, of course, is your swimsuit. You always wear your swimsuit when you go to the pool. So the song goes like this. If you're going to the pool, wear your suit. If you're going to the pool, wear your suit. If you're going to the pool, then the suit will keep you cool. If you're going to the pool, wear your suit. Okay, so what other things might we wear to the swimming pool? One thing I like to wear to keep myself kind of cool is a hat. So let's add our hat up here. If you're going to the pool, wear your hat. If you're going to the pool, wear your hat. If you're going to the pool, then your hat will keep you cool. If you're going to the pool, wear your hat. That's right. Another thing we might wear, especially if it's really sunny outside, we might wear sunglasses. Or another word for sunglasses, which some people like to use, is shades. So in our song, we're going to call them shades because they shade your eyes from the sun. If you're going to the pool, wear your shades. If you're going to the pool, wear your shades. If you're going to the pool, then your shades will keep you cool. If you're going to the pool, wear your shades. Did you notice any words that rhymed in that song? Words pool and cool. Those rhyme, don't they? Parents, it's important to point out words that rhyme to your children that helps them to learn to read later in life. And it's also a fun game to play. The first book we're going to read is called The Whale in My Swimming Pool. I've never seen a whale in a swimming pool. Have you? They're pretty big. I don't think they would fit in most swimming pools. Race you to the pool. Whoa, a whale. Mom, there's a whale in my swimming pool. Great, honey, don't forget about sunscreen. Sunscreen on a whale? Okay, I'm going to close my eyes and count to 10. And when I'm done, you had better be gone. Ready? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh, the whale didn't leave, did it? Maybe you just need a little help. You think you can push the whale out of the swimming pool? Probably not. Why my pool? Why not the pool next door? They have the best pool on the block. What do you see in their pool? It looks like a fin, maybe a shark swimming in that pool. Uh-oh. How about a game of fetch? Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Wouldn't you rather swim with other whales? What if we take turns? I'll give you my allowance. Tag, you're it. Arg, this is hopeless. Even the crane couldn't pick him up out of the pool. How will I ever get this whale out of my pool? I'll never get to go swimming ever again. How do you think he feels right now? Looks like he's mad. 
and probably frustrated too. He just really wants to go swimming and that whale is taking up the entire pool. I give up. Oh, what did the whale do? Looks like it's spouting some water out of the top of, of its head. It's called a blowhole. They spout water out of there. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Wait here. I will be right back. Well, maybe this is not so bad after all. Look, he decided to get his inner tube and he's gonna ride on the water that the whale's blowing out of his blowhole. Nap time! Coming, Mom! Oh, great. He snores. he's got a bear in his bed. This guy has had a busy day with lots of problems to solve. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna tell you a story up here. And we just talked about the book with the whale in the swimming pool. Do whales really live in swimming pools, do you think? No, where do they live? Do you know? Whales live in the ocean, don't they? Yeah, so let's find our ocean here. Well, let's see if we can make it straight. We've got our ocean here. Oh, put it down there. Okay, so we've got waves in the ocean. And we've got some whales. Let me see if I can find my whales. We've got an orange whale. We've got this whale. What color is this one? Can you tell? That's right, it's purple. We've got this one, which is actually a narwhal. The horn is kind of like a unicorn. And we've got this really big blue whale. And we've got another one right here. It's kind of a little smaller. It's green. So how many do we have? One, two, three, four, and five. So we've got five big whales. Five big whales off the seashore. One swam up to spout. Go spout some water. And that left four. So now we've got four left. One, two, three, four. Four big whales in the deep blue sea. One swam up to spout. And that left three. Let's take them away. So we've got one, two, three. Let's move our green whale over a little here. So we've got three whales left now. Three whales in the sea so blue. One swam up to spout, the purple one. And that left two, one, Two big whales having lots of fun. One swam up to spout, and that left one. One big whale longing for the sun. It swam up to spout, and that left none. All the whales went back under the water, maybe, or swam away. So we have another story called Jabari Jumps. Have you ever gone to a pool with a diving board? And sometimes they are really high. It's kind of scary to jump off the diving board. So in this story, let's find out if Jabari actually can jump from a diving board. This is by Gaia Cornwall. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really, said his dad. The diving board was very high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swim lessons 
and passed his swim test and he was ready to jump. I'm going to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari, so I'm not scared at all. Jabari watched the other kids climb up a long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board, as big as tiny bugs. Then they stood on the edge. They spread their arms and bent their knees and sprang up, 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 and then they dove down, down, down. Splash! Looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder and he looked up. You can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. Jabari thought and thought. I wonder what kind of jump he's going to do. Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay, said his dad. Maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up the diving, at the diving board together. Look, he's on his dad's shoulders and that diving board is still very high, so it must be a really tall diving board. Do you think you would be afraid to jump from that diving board? I probably would. It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes I feel a little scared and I take a deep breath and I tell myself I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little like a surprise. Jabari loved surprises. Jabari took a deep breath and felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. Jabari looked up and began to climb. Up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked all the way to the end of the board. His toes curled around the edge. Look there, his toes they are on the edge of that diving board. And do you see the people down here? In the pool, they look very small. See how high that is? He is very brave for trying this. Jabari looked out as far as he could see. He felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. Wow, you can see through the whole town from that really high diving board. He took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees. Then he sprang up off the diving board, flying. Oh, there he goes. Jabari hit the water with a, what sound do you think it made when he hit the water? What does that say? Splash, that's right. He had to hold his nose so the water didn't get in his nose. Down, down, down he went, and then back up, whoosh. Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari, I am a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise, double backflip is next. That was a really 
good story about Jabari, wasn't it? He was so brave. I bet you could do hard things too if you tried. So today, in closing, I've got a few books to recommend to you if you're looking for more books about swimming. Uh, well, there are plenty of them at our library. And you can come in and check these out if you're interested in any of these. The first one is called Elephants Swim. And this is by Linda Kappas Riley. So this one is a great one. It talks about how all kinds of different animals swim, like even wildebeests. So I might come in and check that one out. There's another great one called One, Two, Three, Jump. And this one's by Liesl H. Dettelson. It's also about jumping into the swimming pool. Another fun we have is called Who Can Swim by Sebastian Braun. And we also have, this one is one of my favorite silly books to read. This one is called Fruits in Suits by Jared Chapman. So if you want to come into the library, we can help you find any of those or any other books you might be looking for. And we hope to see you soon. Take care and keep reading.